Hey, how's it going? Okay, so this is an appendix just on making a pretty render. So what I've got here is my ED209 model that uh, I rigged up pretty much, well, exactly the same way as I did for the um, game model. So, you know, if you don't know how to do it, really, just go and watch the game model rigging. It's exactly the same. Now, I've made this into a nice pose so that I can put it on the cover. So first things first, what I'm going to do is look at getting a decent basic material to put on this for various areas in here. So, what I want to do is kind of assign some basic material. So this one's going to be our bluey material and this one's going to be our darkish material. Okay, And I'm going to obviously apply my bluey material to just about everything except this floor here. So there we go, just apply this bluish material to it all. Now, for various parts, like for example this one, which has just been moved size heavily, there we go. For this one and this one, I'm going to apply this darker material. That way later on I can apply the darker material and it will all work nicely. For the actual foot itself, in here, I'm going to apply it. Now then over here, remember what a pain this is to select. Probably going to be a bit of a nuisance doing it this way, so I'll just have to marquee grab. There we go. Nearly there. Go around the other side now. Let's deselect the parts that I don't want. the dark material to that. Underside here, do the same again. Just trying to line it up, make my job a little bit easier. You can actually use the uh, where is it? You are polygonal lasso tool. There we go. That's nearly all of them. Just click grow. There we go. I should have enough of them. Then shrink. There, that should do it. Let's go around this side. Now I can just deselect these manually. Let's get feedback from Greg at the minute who's working on the uh, UT section of the tutorial. I mean I did the basics but I'm by no means you know a maestro at this when it comes to UT. So. Get rid of these ones here. It's always a long process just selecting these parts out. There we are. Apply that to it. 
and go around over here and do the same again. Right, I'm going to use the uh, polygonal lasso tool again, or polygonal lasso tool, depending on how you like to pronounce the word polygon. That's if you actually give that much thought at all in the first place. There we go, delete these ones. Because they're wobbers and weepists, as it says in Life of Brian. There we are. and close over here. Okay, we're going to use the polygonal polygonal lasso tool. Yep, selected a few too many again this time. Seems to be a recurring theme that does. Appear to be sending my file to my to Greg at a blistering ooh, 2k per second for the textures. So considering that these are 64k, even though I've compressed them, it will be a little while I think before Greg actually is receiving them. Messenger really is terrible at sending files. There we go. There. Okay, back out. Uh, up here. And I'm going to select this part. I'm just working in a workbench at the moment, which makes things a bit easier for me. Okay, so if I select this piece and just do a control and I, I'll select the entire inside here, and then I just apply this texture to it, like so. Right, just press F4. Yeah, that's okay. Now, go around the back here, and I'm going to go at these vents. And just select them individually at the bottom here, and then I can grow just to colour these in a bit. Funny, I go back on this model, and I'm thinking, God, there's a lot of detail on this. Click grow. Shrink grow, there we go, and just apply this material to it, over here going to do the same again, Greg sending me messages in the style of Borat at the moment, which is kind of making it very hard for me to record and keep a straight face, I'm hoping that he'll keep that in the video tutorials to be honest. Greg was absolutely awesome to have at Maxterdam. Honestly, I couldn't keep a straight face. There we go. And assign that bit to there. Let's put these two pieces here. It's darker. Okay, now I'm going to go to some of these other pieces we've got kind of lying around. Got some pistons here. So for the pistons, let's go to the third one, which I'm going to make much whiter still. There we are. Now, oh, I can't wait till I've got a decent office that doesn't have a bloody washing machine in it. Um, look at this, right, the piston areas, here we are. Now I've bound all these together, so I'm not going to be able to individually select them, which is a shame. Such is life. Right viewport, left viewport, right viewport, front viewport. There we go. Have a look at these. Okay. 
Okay, I'll just use the marquee tool, I think, now. I think I've got this as a user view by mistake here. Yeah, that's slightly better. Okay, so I'm going to click Grow here. And with any luck, we'll be able to grow this. Like so. Oh, we did. Okay, now I'm going to apply the dark material to this, just our dark metal. Over here, I'm going to do the same again. Okay, just grow this out. and apply our dark metal to that as well. Down here we've got these two thin areas so I'm just going to come straight through try and get these. I'm going to apply a light material to that. Right now I'm going to do the same over here as I just did over there. Give it a quick check and apply our white metal to it. It's just white but it's just a stand integrator for the minute so any changes we make to that will just propagate down to the rest of the model. Okay, same again over here. Check it selected. Straight through, just here. And grow it out. Sheer coincidence that this is pretty much kind of the ideal size what I want, so. I mean when I'm growing it obviously. That's kind of what I'm trying to infer anyway. Okay, grow. Same again. And then down here in the lighter areas. See, that's no good because I've got those top parts there. And even if we're not, even if you think to yourself, you know, oh, no one's going to notice that. I can guarantee some bugger will. I'll point it out to you. There we go. Apply that one. See, three materials. It's basic, but it's effective. I mean, we haven't done anything special even with these materials, but you can see it is making a difference. Go up here. Right. Now we have this fellow here. All I'm going to do here is just select these polygons because these are all the same object. Just click grow. As you see, it's doing it quite evenly. Shrink a bit. There we go. And I'm going to apply our lighter metal to the inside of that. Same over here. We don't want a mass of it, I mean we can apply decals and stuff if we want. But uh that's for later. Okay, apply that there. Put a dark metal on this one I think. Kind of selecting as intelligently as you can get away with. To try and make sure that when you click grow, it's going to have the right parts selected. You can see there's a part behind there. It's uh, got a polygon on it, but I'm sure we'll live. There we go. Yeah, it's not noticeable. Okay, go around this. I'm not going to bother doing that side there. Uh, another midgy on my desk, good grief. Right, let's have a look at this. Start by selecting these eight and just click grow a few times. Actually, no, seven. Eight, nine. Nine, let's have a look. Okay, 
let's click grow 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 again oh, I nearly had it I just want to get this front part here now what I've done is I've actually got a material that I already have downloaded um, I already have made rather that was going to use for the carbon fibre at the top there but uh, I might make my own, it's probably nicer making my own anyway let's click grow turn off the scale tool in case I accidentally do some scaling I really don't want to Remember, if you're just uh, modelling this, um, you know, for the high polygon experience, then I would suggest putting your textures on before you pose it or rig it or whatever, unless you're just planning on doing a single render of it, just to say, you know, I went there and did this. Which is cool enough. I mean, seriously, but you should have some sort of a badge or something for finishing this piece because it is complicated. But I'm not going to give you a badge, so you can get your own. Okay, and there we go. Now I'm going to go over here and make a black texture. There we go, like that. And just apply it. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. Now we've got these guns here at the front that I really think need their colours changing, so I'm going to use the dark metal for that because dark metal always seems to work quite nicely on guns. Straight through there, do a grow. I don't think this is actually a separate object, so no, it isn't. Pity. Okay, let's get in close down here. Oops, wrong one. Polygon tool. Keep growing it. <laughs> this is a pure fluke. Look at that. Bam. Pretty much exactly the same time. Okay, I'm just going to grow this until it's completely covered that part, then I'm going to shrink it back. There we go. And I'm going to apply our dark material to this. Okay, same again over here. And there's a lot of polygons that make this piece up. There we go. And shrink it again. Grow, grow, shrink. Right, now I just need to go around this area. And just apply this material here. There we go. See, fun and interesting. Take those three. And these three. And apply the material to that. And now over this side. I've actually got the right piece even selected. Bet I haven't. There we go. Okay, and apply that. Over here, I 
think I'll just make this entire part dark metal. Always looks quite nice. And there. Right. Now you can see that our model has these different colours on. So the next stage is going to be assigning these textures. Okay, so we'll do that in the next part.